Now in this exercise, we're going to have a look at the Smart Selection Brush Tool in Affinity Designer for iPad. So open Affinity Designer on your iPad and upload or select your image. And in this case, I've selected um, a, a lake with a, with a jetty running down into the lake. It's the sky that I want to alter in this case. In the top toolbar of your screen, select the Pixel Persona. This will bring up a new toolbar on the left of your screen. Now, click on the Smart Selection Brush tool. That's the one with the little dotted circle around the tip of the brush on the left hand side there. Set the brush width to a good size for your image. Now, I think about 30 pixels with this one. You don't want it too big and you don't want it too small. And the mode will be Add Mode. Select the area that you want to edit. A quick, light, horizontal stroke will select the sky. Now, about where the point of the arrow is from Select, in the middle of the sky, if you, if you use your Apple Pencil and just do a quick, light stroke to the right, not very heavy, and a single quick stroke, it will select the entire sky area. Don't do a slow stroke. Don't try and tap around the edges. Just a quick stroke to the right, as if you're giving it a little tick to the right, and it will select the entire screen. It takes a little bit of practice sometimes to get that right, but persist with it. Try it, undo it, try it, undo it, and you'll eventually get it. Now, when you're ready, tap the Refine tool. That's down the bottom right-hand corner there. And when you tap the Refine tool to check the area that's been selected, the area you do not want to edit will be highlighted in red. So don't be confused by that. That's the area you don't want to select. And you can check along the edges to make sure that the part you want selected is selected and none of the parts you don't want are accidentally selected. And in complex images, that can often be a problem. You can use the Smart Selection Brush tool to refine your selection even further, keeping the brush width small. Now, if there's points you want to uh, modify, you can modify them by using um, the same brush. And you go back and select it, of course. When you're happy, tap Apply, and that will permanently um, set the selected area. There you go. So it's it looks much the same, nothing much is different. But you can now adjust your selection. It's still selected. Tap on the adjustment icon in the layers panel and select and select the adjustment you would like to do. Now the adjustment um, icon, the adjustment studio is that square with the three little dots in it. Select the adjustment you would like to make. Now I'm going to adjust the HSL because I want to lighten the sky and change the tone slightly. I selected HSL so I can affect the sky and make it brighter in this image. And by tapping on the ranges where the arrow points to, it brings up the various options. I can affect the sky and make it brighter in this image. Now, it's not so much brighter. Brighter is probably the wrong word, but I'm going to intensify it, that's for sure. I'm going to change the saturation and the luminance, and you can see I've done just that. I've moved the saturation to 44% and the luminance to minus 11%. So it's deepened the blues a little bit and emphasized the clouds, made them somewhat brighter. Now, depending on your image, you can modify these as you like. Anything in that selected area can be modified with the adjustments tools. To return to the full canvas when you finish that and get rid of the crawling ants, these selected areas, tap deselect, that's the little X down the bottom left hand side, and then just tap on the move tool and display the entire image. And you can see, if you went back and compared this image to the original image, the sky in this one's much more intense. Now, if you're doing decent photography work, 
that's quite an acceptable modification. You can do it on the road even with your camera, your images and your iPad. And you can make quick little adjustments to the image. Send them off to the printers or wherever you're sending them to. Send them home to mum even. And there you go. That's really all there is to it. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel at the following address. It's pretty straightforward. YouTube.com slash C slash Robert Chalmers. Nice and easy to find. I'll really appreciate it if you do. Thanks for watching.